What is going on, everyone? Hopefully, you all are having a great day. This is going to be a super quick episode here on the MI Gardener channel. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy it, and hopefully, it will help uh, to prevent any oopsies in the future. I know it's a little bit too late for some people, obviously, but this is going to be uh, highlighting my oopsie that I made, and it's just by not paying attention. Um, so, when it comes to tomato plants, there are two varieties, and in this episode, uh, that is going to be the secret to killing your tomato yields or increasing them. Um, and so depending on the staking method you choose really needs to be determined by the type of tomato you have. So uh, at the cottage, we go Florida weave method because we're not up there as often, we can't maintain them as much. And that allows our plants to bush out, go crazy. And uh, those are typically determinant varieties. Determinant varieties will bush and they fruit on the fruiting, on the, the suckers that are formed causing them to form a nice bush that is very productive and all the fruit will ripen at around the same time and the fruit yields and the, the plant height is determined. Um, that's why it's called determinate. However, here at the, at the garden at the house, we like indeterminate varieties because we grow with stakes and we will single stem our tomatoes to allow them to grow very tall, but get very good airflow, produce all season long, and we can plant things like herbs and other things that don't like uh, as much sun in between the tomato plants. So that's why we really like this high, this high density approach to growing tomatoes. However, I made an oopsie in the fact that I did not pay attention to all the varieties I was planting. Uh, one in particular was the Ace 55 tomato. Oopsie, the Ace 55 tomato, <laughs> I should have just known it. I, I, I'm, I just wasn't paying attention in all honesty. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Um, full disclosure, I make mistakes just like anybody else does. And I threw the Ace 55 tomato plant in here. And obviously when they're all grow, when they're all first growing, you don't know uh, the difference between a determinant and an indeterminate because they just all, they, they pretty much all grow the same until you get to fully mature size. And then what happens is that's what separates the determinant from the indeterminate because the indeterminant will continue to grow and the determinant will stop. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am pruning off all the suckers. Oh, this is going great. And then I noticed, wait a second, uh, there's no more upward growth. It's just a flower at the top. What does this mean? <laughs> and sure enough, I pull out the plant tag, a 55 tomato. And so, oh yay. So now instead of having probably about 10 to 20 pounds of tomatoes possible on this plant, I've now restricted it down to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tomatoes. That's going to be a very, very productive plant. <laughs> eight tomatoes. And I guess I do have about five or six more flowers here. So maybe about 12 to 14 tomatoes out of a plant that could have produced close to 50 tomatoes. Um, it is a great way. I'll tell you folks, it is a great way to kill your yields by, uh, by not, un by, well, by not paying attention or by not knowing what type of plant you have. Um, because had I just allowed this, well, had I thrown it up at the cottage, um, <laughs> had I thrown it up at the cottage, it would have been fine because I wouldn't have pruned it anyways. But had I known that this was a determinant variety, I would not have put it here and I would not have pruned it and I would have had, I would have had some great yields. Um, so just some things to keep in mind that, um, you know, if you are, if you're growing determinant, if you are growing determinant varieties, do not prune them. Um, they, it just absolutely will kill their yield because the plant knows that in order to get its full determined fruit yield, it needs all those suckers. And that's why it's a more cultivated variety for like farmers that don't have the time to walk by and single stem and, and prune. And, and they just want bumper crops that all ripen at once for consistency. And that's what makes the determinant so nice. And that's why I love them as well at the cottage, because uh, when it's determined, I can say, well, I know I don't have any ripe tomatoes that I'm, that I'm going to be missing. So I'll go up there when the tomatoes start ripening and I'll have you know guaranteed success up there, even though we're, we're up there maybe once every two, two to four weeks. So um, it's consistent, uh, but bummer. But hey, it happens. And I like to show these types of things because we all make mistakes, no matter how veteran we are, mistakes can still be made, especially if you're not paying attention. We'll still get some tomatoes. I am excited to, to get these ripened because they're just a beautiful, beautiful tomato, but we certainly will, we certainly will not get as many as we would have, uh, maybe f five to six times less tomatoes than we would have gotten. So, um, bummer, but Hey, live and learn. 
and uh, you make mistakes and that's okay. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy, I mean, I don't know what there'd be to enjoy in this episode, <laughs> but hopefully you at least enjoyed watching it and, uh, and hopefully you don't make this mistake. And if you did, now you know why uh, you shouldn't make that mistake ever again. Um, and and uh, yeah, so that's about all I got for you. So as long as, um, as long as you don't have any comments or questions, we are good to go. Uh, but if you have any comments or questions, post them in the comments box below and I'll answer them. Um, but anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're having a great day. And as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. See ya. Bye.